reeks in here. Tyromancy, or the noble art of cheese divination. <coughs> what splendid diversity reigns in the kingdom of cheese. The ripened curd can be white or blue, hard or soft, fresh or aged, from the milk of cows, sheep or goats, brined, pickled or untouched. The list could go on to the end of time. And each of them, every last slice, every morsel and crumb, not only brings with it an unmatched rush of sensory experience, but in the right hands can be made to reveal the universe's most closely guarded secrets. Have you heard? The witch hunters have burnt Aramis at the stake. Now what harm did that poor eccentric do anyone? He only divined from cheese, and that is... I beg your pardon, did I hear you correctly? He divined from cheese? Yes, from cheese. It's an art, apparently. Tyromancy, they call it. Aramis was a world-class expert. Apparently, when he first enrolled at Aratusa, he sought to delve into black magic, reviving the dead, that sort of thing. But he became confused. Instead of signing up for necromancy, he chose tyromancy. Uh, then he sort of stuck with it. For cheese, like the innards of sacrificed animals, the flight of a swallow or vivid dreams can be used for divination. The depth and size of a cheese's holes reveal when rains will fall in the coming year. That stench. Ripe cheese. Seems Aramis was a tyromancer. While the colour of mould veins tells of who shall love who, and the scent of a hard grano padano predicts which army will vanquish its foes and which shall perish. The best divination, however, is done using the ancient method of fondue. One must simply melt two different kinds of cheese, preferably emmental or gruyere, in white wine or in a pinch in a dry apple cider. Then one must use a long stick to immerse a morsel of bread in the resultant thick soupy mixture, all the while keeping in mind the question, what shall my child be like when he or she, as the case may be, grows? Then bring the cheese-covered morsel of bread up to a candle, so that it casts a shadow on the wall. The shape will provide a sure and easily understood answer to your query. This sword is as deadly as Aramus's cheeses. It's worth taking. Maybe I'll name it the Emmentaler. My trial of the cheeses. Lesimir will get a kick out of this when I tell him. I so don't feel like going anywhere. Sit here a while longer. 